What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the Endura buggy on the bench. For today's install, we will be looking at these Endura stamp steel deep dished beadlock wheels. And so these already come deep dished. So there's no uh, modification or you don't need to flip how the setup is compared to a typical deep dish wheel like I have here. So this is the Enduro 1.0 stamp steel beadlock wheel. And I flip the spacer and I put it on the outers on the inside of the wheel, I guess you can say, to create more of an offset. And uh, I mean, you could do this uh, with any stamp steel. Uh, there's the RC4 drive and there's an Endura. But um, typically you're supposed to run the wheel like this and you can kind of see the, the pattern of the rim. But the spacer's on the outside, which creates the offset. But with these new wheels, the spacer goes on the back side and you can tell that there's an offset because this lip is a, there's a lip. I don't know if you can tell that it focus. There's a lip right there, which creates the offset. So I have done that already and I have a couple wheels already all set up. And so these are on some scramblers that I had laying around. And there is the new wheel all set up. And uh, let's see if we can just throw this on here real quick. And so you can tell um, from this view up top, it's not as wide as the typical normal wheel flipped with the spacer on the outside, but it does provide more of an offset than a stock wheel or tire that you run on a normal SCX24. So here is a normal, I think this is a Deadbolt and Gladiator wheel. And so, or actually is it a C10? I don't remember if some of these lying around. But put that on there and you can see that the tire covers the majority of the knuckle versus here where the tire is pushed away from the knuckle. And same thing with that wheel and tire setup. So that's really what the offset does. It kind of makes your, your truck a little bit wider. So it's a pretty simple setup when doing these wheels. There's a specific bolt pattern that you need to follow and it's pretty easy to locate based off of um, kind of matching up where this little bolt lines up perfectly with this section of the rim. Right here at its tip, you wanna remove everything and then just line it up back. And it's pretty simple. I have a wear 1.3 hex right here. Um, it's a really easy setup. So let's see if we can get it for you guys. So, we're gonna grab our new, or actually our used scrambler, and we want to, let's see which direction we have all these treads going. So we have one going that way, two going this way. So we need the tread pattern to follow this tire. So I'm gonna flip the tire around, and we are going to install. So, wow, Finn, Finn just bit me, nice. So the wheel comes in four pieces. Comes with the outer ring, the outer part of the wheel, the back side of the wheel and the spacer. So first thing I like to do is grab the ring and install it in the tire, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab the front side of the wheel, put it in like that, and I'm gonna grab the back side. And this is where you wanna line up the pattern from one side of the wheel to the other. So I'm gonna locate this point right here I can see it right there. I'm gonna find that exact location on this part of the wheel, which is right, right there. So now we have our tire sandwiched in between our wheel and then we're gonna grab our spacer and we're gonna line it up so we can see through everything. So I can see through all the holes. Now I'm just gonna hold it steady and grab one of my little screws and get it started to hold it in place. And now I have my wheel all set up and started and now I can just follow and continue with the other five. This step requires a lot of patience. You just have to be detailed and look at how you're setting things up and it should go pretty smoothly. So now I'm gonna get this tire set up and then we'll get them onto the buggy. So there is the wheel and tire all set up. It took me less than a minute to get everything on and mounted. You just gotta pay attention and it should go pretty smooth. And I just wanted to compare to what we are removing from the buggy. So here on the left, we have a RC4 drive scrambler 
on a 1.0 stamped steel deep dish and drawer wheel. Here on the right, we have the Endura Mud Tire or Mud Terrain MT 1.0 on some Endura stamped steel bead locks in gold, and these are not uh, the deep dish version. So you kind of just look at it from the back side. You can tell on the left, it's the spacers on the actual back side of the wheel versus the right where the spacer is on the front side of the wheel to create the offset. So that's kind of what you're gaining with this new wheel over here on the left. Um, the tire, the Endura Mud Terrain tire is a little bit taller um, than the Scrambler, but they're almost exactly the same height. The Endura has a little bit more of a tougher foam than uh, the RC4 tire Scrambler because I kind of modified it. But um, I thought that the black would go better on the carbon fiber chassis than this gold, but I will be saving these for something later on. Just don't know what yet. So now it's time to swap them on and then we will look and see how the buggy looks. So there's a mock-up of what it would look like. I just prefer how it looks on this side compared to this side. I don't know, just something about it. It looks more scale, a little bit more real. I like the more black look. So that's kind of the main reason why I swapped out these wheels and tires on the buggy. So there is the buggy with the new wheels and tires. I'm definitely liking this look a little bit more than those other wheels and tires. It gives it more of a little scale look, low, kind of like a sleeper look in my opinion. These gold ones can be a little bit of a attention grabbing, um, but I think it's a great success. Definitely want to get this thing running to see how it performs with the low CG and the bigger tires. But overall, pretty happy with the way they look. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you're interested in these wheels, links will be in the description. Thanks again to Enjoy for sending them out to me. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Take care, see you in the next one, peace.